Hey guys, Jacob here, and welcome to System Test 1. So let's start with the newest addition. Actually, this is all new, but my most recent acquisition, which I acquired just yesterday. It is an Edwards Fire Shield Plus control panel. And I got this panel for a very good deal from a guy who originally bought it to put in its in his restaurant but for whatever reason he went for a Mircom panel instead and this panel was brand new never installed so as you can see it has three zones and two knacks really small basic panel and it does have a battery trouble because there's no batteries and yeah it's actually a really good panel I guess the only thing I don't really like about it is that the programming gets a little bit difficult because it looks like there's an LCD screen here but there actually is not. The only models that come with an LCD screen are the ones that come with auto dialers and this one doesn't have an auto dialer so all the programming is done by indication of these LED lights here. and That can get a little confusing but I guess the extremely high amount of programming options for a panel this size kind of makes up for that minor design flaw. I'm going to need this later. Okay, and now for the signals we have a Edwards 439D 10 inch bell and beside that we have a Wheelock MT424 LSM horn strobe but only the strobe is hooked up today. And for a pole station, we have an Simplex 4251-111. So, just please bear with me as I put my hearing protection in. Okay. So, the system is currently set to code 3 with an audible silence. Here we go. system is silent, the strobe still flashing. Oh. There we go. And reset. Okay, so now I'm just waiting for the battery trouble to come on. It takes a little while as it checks the circuits for any missing devices. There we go. And that has been System Test 1. Thank you for watching.